Yes, my dear friend, very good afternoon to you wherever you are or you are still in the morning. We are in the afternoon here in Southeast Asia, Malaysia, to be precise. Welcome to the channel. This is Salon's Blog. Well, well, it is a very beautiful Tuesday. Hot afternoon here. We are already in a hot afternoon. You are in the morning. I want you to enjoy your day as long as it lasts. Chelsea fans around the globe, I know you are excited. Yes, you are excited. And... As you celebrate, remember our match on Saturday is coming. It is against Manchester City. And so there is no rest for the team, for the squad. They will have to go straight away back to Cobham and start preparing tactically against Manchester City. Yes, that match is equally important. We will have to attempt to win that game as well. We will have to do what? Attempt to win. We are not going to Manchester City to relax we are not going to be playing them to relax that will score. Oh, no, 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 no. We are to go in with the same spirit that we used to end the game against Crystal Palace. The same mindset. And with them, we need to start fighting from the onset. We cannot wait and come back second half to do any magic. We have the talent, like I said yesterday. We have the ability. We have the players. They might not have all the experience, but I believe right now we are growing gradually into the games. And so I will expect our team to come up against Man City stronger than we even did against Aston Villa. Well, dear friend, I have the coach's post-match reaction for you. But before you listen to that, I would like you to take note of a few things. Crystal Palace manager Roy Hodgson Roy has said something. I want you to listen to what he said. And one or two other things before I will play the video of the coach post-match reaction to you. He says, it was extremely cruel. But the game is about goals. And unfortunately, we made mistakes which led to goals. And I thought it was harsh because our defending was good. We didn't make that many errors and our goalkeeper was not exactly prepared. He said their goalkeeper was not exactly prepared by Chelsea <laughs> with, the, with shots. The third goal is a nail in the coffin. But when you are 2-1 down, with a few minutes to go, all teams do the same and throw everybody forward, hoping a ball will bounce kindly for an equalizer. So every team will do the same, what they did. When they were 2-1 down, they will have to throw the men forward, hoping that there will be a bounce ball that any of the, his players can just bounce on and equalize. But in so doing, Chelsea had the opportunity to score the third goal by counter, counter play. To score the third goal, which was done by Enzo, expertly taken by Enzo Fernandez. You could see very clearly the way he took his time and cornered the ball into the far corner of the net. Yes, that is what Roy Hoxon was talking about there. Now, before I play the video for you, Chelsea have completed a deal to sign Senegalese under 17 midfielder Pape Dauda Dion, as revealed two weeks ago. Born in 2006, Pape will turn 18 in the summer and he will become part of Chelsea project. Dion was at Stamford Bridge just two weeks ago. My goodness, another 17 year old. Another 17. Put all those 4 million, 5 million, 15 million euro, 20 million euro, put them together. Would have achieved our aim by now. We are still buying 17. There is no guarantee that by the time he turns 19, 20, You'll be the same talent that you saw as he was 17. We've seen players. Well, today is not for that. So let me quickly end this. Yes. Enzo Fernandez made this statement. He said, I am happy here at Chelsea. We want to play next Champions League. I don't know where the, the living rumors came from. He said he doesn't know where the living rumors came from. They have spoken on social networks. I came out to totally deny that story. It's fake, Enzo told ESPN. He said he wants to play next season's Champions League. That is the aim of Chelsea. That is the aim of he and his teammates. He wants to be in the next season's Champions League, Enzo Fernandez. And he told ESPN Argentina, he said, I don't want to leave Chelsea. I'm very good here with my teammates and coaching staff. From the first day I have arrived, I don't know where those rumors came from. I came I come out to totally deny that. That is from Enzo Fernandez. Now, Pochettino himself spoke, and I would like you to listen to him. But before you listen to his voice, 
this is one thing that he pointed out. He said, we, we were flat in the first 45 minutes. Very disappointing. We need to react in the game. We need to avoid that and start a game like this so flat. Maybe there was a foul when we conceded. We start, you see, he's referring to the foul on, uh, on uh, Kasaido. Was it really a foul? It was your player, Madrike's fault. It was Madrike's mistake. Madrike cost us that goal. That's just a fact. It's just the truth. It's Madrike's fault. Maybe there was a foul when we considered a goal. Well, I don't think so. It was Madrike. We started the second half really well, and we scored. It was a tough game, but I'm so pleased. We just want to build our confidence and realize we need to be more consistent. We used two strikers in between the center back and the full back. We put Gusto and Tewell higher and moved the ball quicker with Enzo in a number 10 row. It helped us score. That was the second half tactical change that he did. That is what changed the game in the second half. Dear friend, let me not talk much. Let me leave you here. Because I want to come back with more in my next episode. Yes, I want to come back with more in my next episode. I will see you in the next one when you see me, dear friend. Shalom. And performance. First question, what did you say to the boys at halftime? Oh, I think we were so flat. And uh, yes, uh, no nice words, but no <laughs> aggressive because we need to play 45 minutes. And I think the, when we made a mistake or when you are not uh, good enough, it's all together. We share the, the same responsibility. I think we were so flat. I think we didn't approach the game like it was... Uh, again, uh, Aston Villa, uh, we changed some uh, positions and tactical uh, dif different uh, way to, to approach the game on the second half, and I think it worked uh, really well. And so happy because I think we changed completely the, uh, the feelings. It was a great response, wasn't it? And Conor Gallagher, I know we've spoken about, you, about him before, but from him, two more goals. He, he made such a difference, didn't he? Yeah, it's been amazing. Uh, the commitment from the beginning. That when we arrive here, more than seven months now, as you know, with the, commit, the commitment and and then uh, score goals and, and the work ethic, uh, every single game that he provides the team is amazing. So pleased for him, so happy for the team and keep going. Another goal for Enzo as well. How much do you feel that he's growing into this team? No, he's, he's doing fantastic goals. So uh, we always talk about matter of time. Uh, the player need to find the, the balance and... And I think today another great uh, uh, other possibility to score another goal. But yes, I think the challenge is to be consistent, and we cannot afford to again to play in this way. And yes, now we have a good test against Manchester City. It's going to be tough, but I think a good test for us to prepare the, the final of the of the Carabao Cup. On a negative side, you lost Thiago to an injury in the second half. How is he? No, and now we need to assess tomorrow and, and see if he feels something in his groin, and hope that is not a big issue. To finish on a positive, like I said, back-to-back -back away wins and an incredible moment with the supporters once again towards the end of the game no, tonight. Amazing, amazing, amazing victory, amazing, you know, support from the from the fans. So happy for them and yeah, keep going. You spoke about building that bond, didn't you? I mean, performances like this will really yes. help that one. No, that is amazing. The energy in between the fans and uh, and the team is that is what we want to see. And if we are capable to to feel like this, I think we can uh, win a lot of matches.